think a lot of times in the heart of every athlete, every aspiring athlete, or I dare say anybody that wants to do something, that recognizes it's within them to be something. I want to be somebody. I want to make something happen. Give me the chance. I am possibility waiting to be discovered. No weakness. Two One more. more. No weakness. No, two more. Shut the fuck up. Come on. I was smuggled from Nigeria to Ireland. So what's up? What's up? What's up? Internet sensation. IFBB Pro bodybuilder, Blessing Owadabu, wasn't always larger than life. He comes from very humble beginnings that have given him an unusual strength. You know, I, I didn't come from a wealthy family. My father's a farmer and my mother, she stay home and, you know, take care of the family. And I grew up in the village, you know, like at the age of nine, and then at the age of five, I'd be on the farm working with my dad, you know, cutting in grasses. We have machetes, we're there all day long working on the farm and you know just trying to provide food for the family you know i will be walking with i'll be walking miles i don't know if you ever see one of them african pictures where they're walking with water on top of the head trust me bro <laughs> i was that kid if i had to go back in this moment and recall what it was i believe that's what i saw jumping out of this young man that had already traveled a tremendous distance, come from a place where I'd never been, with the idea of, wait a minute, my life matters. I have something to say. If you give me an opportunity, I will show you something that's brilliant, something that will represent my contribution to the larger idea of achievement and possibility. Nobody hate on little boys. Nobody hate on people down below. They hate on people. People hate on greatness. People hate on greatness. Ha! Ah. Ooh! Ha! Ah. Uh. Ha! Ah. Sa! So where am I right now? I feel like, you know, especially looking at those guys I'm gonna be facing, I feel like none of them can touch me because I put in the work. You know, and work is the only thing that I always guarantee. You know, and I've been doing that. None of these guys been doing that. Some of these guys, Tom Pro, like a year ago, they're they're making their pro debut. You know, the, a lot of them might, they might, you know, they might be bigger, but those masks were fastly built. You know, it don't look the same. Quality don't look the same. It's bloated, it's blocky, it's, you know? Well, you, that's why you can't compare the guys in the 70s and the 80s to the guys now. It is too fast, they want it now. And that's why I took those years off to take my time with it, do it the right way. I don't want to rush nothing. Size will come with time. Got two more! Uh, yeah! Uh, okay, come on, let's work! Come on, big games now! Who's blessing to me? Blessing is my brother. Blessing is someone I really to when I met him the first time because just like me, he came to USA alone with a bag of clothes with a big dream. So at the age of nine, you know, my mother wanted a better life for myself and my brother. And of course, they want us to do great so we can come back and better their life. My mother was able to give us to a stranger. You know, the provider, fake passport, fake name. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not gonna get in trouble for this. <laughs> the Irish government wouldn't chase me. <laughs> and when we got to Ireland, I was nine years old, no English, no nothing can't speak but I understand a little bit so when that stranger uh, got us to Ireland that person dropped us at the immigration door and they pushed us in go in there go find your way out tell them you just came from Nigeria you don't know how you got here and you're looking for your brother time. take your time uh, that's it come on uh, come on uh, five more for Nick uh, come on. Uh, 
if I have a bad set, I'm like, dude, Nick is working harder than yeah. me at this moment. Because you, you put that in his mind. The set you give up is the set he's doing, so you must do one more. This is better than him as, as well as it's better than me. And, and this is what I'm doing, it's a risk. You know, that's what Conor McGregor did, that's uh, Floyd Mayweather did, that's uh, Muhammad Ali, that's what he did. It's a risk. What happens when you get knocked out in the first round? Everybody's gonna laugh at you, but you gotta prepare. You gotta maintain the same mindset. You are, it seems, a man of many skills. A rare combination. This platform will become my church. The rock that I will build my church on will be right here, and I will pay for it with my sweat, my concentration, and my effort. I came from where you're not supposed to survive. You know, but somehow I got lucky, and I understand where it came from. Not every kid had that chance or the opportunity that I had. So somehow, they was able to locate our brother that was living in Ireland, and they gave us a uh, I saw them sick in I saw them secrets and stuff like that. They was able to set us up. We were able to go to school and the link us up with, brother, with, with my brother. And then my brother took us in. Then he became our guardian. His potential is 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 limitless, you know. Um, and as I tell him, you know, his plan, his dream to do exceedingly well this competitive season and the seasons to come behind it, you know, will all depend on what he's willing to do every day. So we went through a lot of shit. Even back then, like, we wouldn't, like, there was a lot of things that we went through that a lot of that people would classify as racism. But coming from Nigeria, we don't know what racism is. All that, all that, we didn't think, we didn't think anything of it because we knew what suffering was. We know where we came from. So going into Ireland and see all this thing, wow, electricity, TV. Where I came from, my family, we didn't even have TV. There's no light, there's no electricity, there's no none, there's no food, we didn't have fridge. So all that was like, wow, this is this is paradise. So whatever shit that we were getting in school, it was nothing to us. We were just so happy to be out of the shithole that we was in. All the kids used to make fun of me, like our oh, hungry African kids because I was so skinny and he used to push me around. In Ireland, we have uh, a group of people that you call travelers. <laughs> These people don't give a shit. Gypsies. Gypsies. <laughs> they like to fight. Oh, <laughs> they like to fight. Bare knuckle fighting. That's all they do, bro. We went through so much shit with them. And they actually the one that actually pushed me to lift and weight because every day is a, is a trouble. They will like to pick up me. They'll call me skinny. They'll punch me. Kind of like bully. The vision for blessing success and ability to become who he wants to be in this life will all be determined by him. You know, um, can he be, you know, a dominant force in the sport? Absolutely. I do believe that's very, very possible. Um, is that what he ultimately will become? I don't know. I do believe, though, that his potential will take him well beyond what limitations the sport will offer. I have to win my pro debut, and I will win my pro debut. I have to win New York Pro, and I will win New York Pro, and I'm going to go to Cali, and I'm going to win Cali Pro. I'm winning three shows back to back to back to back. You heard it here first. It's the boogeyman era. Believe it.